We work on a lot of interiors in Asian countries, a lot of furniture in European countries, and uh, industrial design all over the place, like uh, Japan and the States and uh, in Europe as well. There is no special thing, I guess. It, that is a problem for myself as well because I enjoy designing anything. It's uh, whether it's a paper clip or if it's a big interior. It's it's basically the same for me, I guess. I'm just addicted to design, and I just enjoy what whatever I'm doing. I guess the process is fairly basic. I start from rough sketches. I'm not a good sketcher, but stupid sketches and then we move on to renderings and models. We make a lot of models. We have three rapid prototyping machines in our studio which work 24 hours a day. We're considering about buying maybe one or two more because it's really important to, to see the idea, to see the form physically. And, um, but it's really the, the story that is the most important thing for myself. When I meet a new client, I hear what's going on and if I cannot come up with a solution for them or a nice story for them, I, it's really difficult for me to proceed that project. I have a feeling that when you're a good sketcher, when you draw pictures and sketches in a very beautiful way, it makes the story a bit blurry. So since I'm not good at that, that helps me. It's, it's really awful sketches. But uh, it has to be something that ev everyone can understand. And um, I think that's important. The, the more the simpler the sketch is, uh, the better the story is, I think. Because I think uh, a good idea has to be something that you can tell your, your mother or a small child who knows nothing about design through the phone and then if she thinks it's interesting, I think that that's good design.